we have to find the molar mass of iron. Okay, so first of all, for this, let's look, look at the answers. The molar mass of iron is uh, measured in gram per mole, and it's equals to 55.845 gram per mole. Um, molar mass, of course, uh, is the mass per number of mole of element or per number of mole of uh, substance. So from here, we are looking for the molar mass of iron. So we are going to, um, you can use Google, or you can, we can, you can look at your textbook from the periodic table. You can find the corresponding uh, molar mass for iron or for different elements. Okay, so, uh, but sometimes your uh, periodic table will show that um, the, the atomic mass. Uh, but actually, the conversion factor between the atomic mass and also the uh, atomic mass unit will be equal to AMU or A dot M dot U. One AMU, essentially, the conversion factor is equal to one mole, uh, sorry, one gram per mole. Okay, keep in mind that AMU and gram per mole, they are different. It's just the conversion factor. They have the same uh, number. So it's one to one ratio. Okay, so for this case, um, the solution is correct. Okay, so let's look at the second paragraph. The very first table, the standardized atomic weight is called the atomic mass. Uh, because at first we don't use uh, gram per mole, we use atomic mass. And in Joseph by John Dalton in 1805. We consist them to relative atomic mass of hydrogen to be 1 and um, uh, carbon to be 12, and then to the relative mass. And then later we are going to, uh, because we are much more concerned in the amount of reagent that we use to install chemistry. So we, it's, it's not that convenient to use uh, atomic mass units. So that's why we switch to use gram per mole. And for mole is that for AMU, we are looking at one single atom. For molar mass, we are look, looking at the mass for one mole. And for one mole of substance, we will be equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. So for example, for one atom, we have one, uh, for example, one, um, uh, one uh, iron atom, it will be equal to 55.845 AMU. And then for one mole of iron, it will be, it will be equal to 55.845 gram per mole. So that because we are looking at different units, although the number is different, but we are looking at different number of um, elements or molecule. So the answer is correct, and also the explanation is very... The explanation... It's detail. Okay, so. Uh